Once you have completed your cereal dilutions, you can now plate your bacterial culture on auger plates so that you can see individual colonies of bacteria on your auger plate. It is important throughout this process that when you are plating, you are plating on the side of the plate that has the auger on it, as the auger provides food and nutrients that allow the bacteria to grow. Similar to bead transfers and cereal dilutions, use the members in your group to properly execute this procedure. One student should retrieve the 10 to the negative 4 dilution tube and briefly vortex it for 3 seconds. Another student can get a tip using the P200 pipette and retrieve 100 microliters from the vortex 10 to the negative 4 dilution tube. Remove the plastic top of the plate and holding the pipette tip above the auger, push the control button down to the second depression to ensure that you are plating all of your culture on the plate. Eject your tip and place the top of the plate back on. You will notice that there are glass beads sitting on top of the auger. These will be used to spread out the bacterial culture so that you can see the individual colonies. Once the culture has been plated and the top of the plate has been put back on, hold the plate upright and shake it back and forth as shown here to allow the beads to spread the culture across the surface of the auger. The sound that should be heard is similar to this. If this sound is not heard and instead you hear something similar to this, then you are wrongly spreading the bacterial culture and will not be able to see the colonies on the plate if for some reason you are doing it the wrong way. Stop and shake the plate side to side until the correct sound is heard. Throughout this process, the plate continues to be held upright. Do not tilt the plate for any reason after the bacterial culture has been put onto the auger plate. Continue to shake the plate, ensuring that you have been shaking for a continuous two minutes. Once you are done shaking, flip the plate over so that the auger side of the plate is facing up. Complete this process for all of your replicates, and once you are done, you may remove the glass beads. Find the container in the classroom labeled, Use Glass Beads, and retrieve your plates that contain the beads. Gently tap the plate so that all of the glass beads tilt to one side of the plate. Remove the top of the plate and gently tap the open plate so that the glass beads fall into the used beads container. Once this has been done, place the plates in the auger up position in the incubator, where they will sit for 24 hours.